This is Justin Germino from DragonBlogger.com. I'm here to talk to you about the WordPress plugin WP Cron Control. One of the reasons why I need to find and use WP Cron Control is that I was having problems with my personal blog in WordPress where I was getting posts that missed their uh, scheduled posts, such as I'd schedule an article to publish on Wednesday, Thursday morning, Friday morning, and then it would go past those dates and the posts would never schedule. Well, it turned out I was using Cloudflare and some CMS systems, and what happens is the way WordPress works is it only publishes a scheduled post the next time a reader actually hits the site. Since your site's on a caching mechanism like Cloudflare, the actual uh, site may never actually get a trigger on your actual website unless a comment's left, so your scheduled posts can sometimes never publish. To get around this, you install the WordPress plugin WP Cron Control, and you set up a cron job in your hosting provider. This can be done very easily through cPanel, uh, through your hosting provider's uh, cron job access, and it basically creates an automated job that, that, that updates daily and make sure that your schedule posts go out on schedule without issue. So the first thing I do is go and install WP Cron Control on your blog. So just go to Simple Plugins, Add New, search for Cron Control, click Install Now on the WP Cron Control. Activate the plugin after it installs. And then go ahead and go into your plugin settings. That'll be under Settings, and it'll be under WP Cron Control. Here you'll see it has, whether it's enabled or disabled, uh, scheduled post validation. You can have this on as an added security just to make sure it does double check and make sure posts get scheduled. It isn't needed in most cases, but if you still have problems with scheduled posts, set this to yes. And then you'll get the line that you should use in your cron job that basically sets up the interval on how often it runs and does a check and therefore sets up your uh, scheduled posts right. So typically, this is the sentence that you'll want to copy and put in your cron job. In some cases, you could do the wget2. Um, the only way I would recommend doing the wget is if your PHP one doesn't work because your environment variables aren't set up right. So start with the PHP one. What you want to do is you want to copy this line, and then you're going to go into your hosting provider. Uh, I use Bluehost or HostMonster. They use cPanel. cPanel is real easily. You just scroll down under Advanced Settings, and you can see something called cron jobs. Just search your existing hosting provider for cron jobs or anything related to cron. And then you select what minute, uh, hour, day, month, weekday. In this case, it recommended every 15 minutes or every 30 minutes. Uh, if you only post one time a day, you honestly only need every hour or, or, or you know every couple of minutes. It's not a big deal. In this case, I would do five minutes after the hour. I would say every hour, every day, every month every weekday and then paste the command in on the command here this basically is telling it execute the PHP script this is the directory and path and then this is your custom key that's assigned to your site from the plugin so uh, you need to make sure that's all intact so once it all looks good just click on add new cron job and then the cron job is in you can validate it um, by going into your logs, your system logs, and making sure it runs after an hour, make sure it runs successfully, you don't see any errors. Um, but mostly this should solve any problems you have with scheduled posts. So it worked with Cloudflare. It solved the problem for me. If you do use Cloudflare on your blog, you have problems with uh, WordPress scheduled posts uh, going past the scheduled post date and not actually publishing, WP Cron Control with a simple cron job in your hosting provider solves the trick. Thank you for watching.